Hello, so today we are discussing chromosomal abnormalities. We have already gone through chromosomes and genes and if it is not clear to you, so please uh, see the previous videos. So quickly, a uh, quick revision on the tools that we will be using today. So all of these beads on a string are actually chromosomes. So this is one chromosome, this is the other. So let's keep everything aside and concentrate on only two chromosomes where chromosomes which are similar in length and have similar sequence of genes on them are called homologous chromosomes. One of them comes from your dad and one of them comes from your mom. So these two chromosomes form a pair of chromosomes. On these chromosomes are genes which are particular segments of the chromosomes that perform a particular function, code for a particular kind of a protein or an enzyme or it could be anything. So all you need to remember is genes are segments of chromosomes. So we have 23 such pairs of chromosomes, but 23rd pair is actually the sex chromosome, which is either an X or an Y. You all know that from your basic biology. Now, when we are talking about chromosomal abnormalities, we are talking about abnormalities in the number or in the structure of chromosomes. What we need to understand is chromosomal abnormalities is different from genetic abnormalities or genetic mutations as you know them. So in a chromosomal abnormality, whenever you have chromosomes different in number from 46, that is what is called a numerical error or enuploidy. Specifically talk about chromosomal abnormalities like enuploidies where the number of chromosome is not 46. It could be either 45 or 44 or it could be 47 or 48. It all depends. Most of the enuploidies though result in miscarriages. However, there are certain chromosomes in which when the number exceeds by you know one or is less than that, it can, that pregnancy can progress. For example, let's say that this is chromosome number 21. So instead of two uh, chromosome 21, when you have the third one like this, you know, exactly same sequence, but this is the third one, an extra one, then this is called a trisomy. So you must have heard trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, that is a more, you know, common name for a trisomy 21. So this is a condition of a Down syndrome where you have an extra chromosome. Now what is monosomy? So instead of two, when you have just one, so this is called a monosomy. And uh, you have something like Turner syndrome, which is like a monosomy of the X chromosome. So instead of an XX, Turner syndrome people have just one X and a missing X uh, chromosome. So what happens when you have a trisomy or a monosomy? So basically every cell of your body, when they have two of these, like we discussed, every gene is supposed to perform a particular function where the function could be to create an enzyme or create a protein. So when you have two of them, you divide the load. Both of them are uh, you know, performing their function. But when you have a third one, you actually have an overdose of the output product. And that output product overdose could lead to some kind of an abnormality in the body. And when there is a monosomy, you have an underdose. So the gene, instead of you know, producing twice the quantity, now you're producing just once, you know, half the quantity. And this could also result in abnormality. Next up, we will discuss what is a structural abnormality in chromosomes.